Remember how system works here. Hello, hello. Oh yeah, here we go. This is what we're gonna do just quickly. So uh see that there. There we go. <laughs> That's our background music for the moment. Make sure it's not too loud. Yeah, let's get a bit more background. There we go. Hello, how the devil are you all? Welcome, it's Wednesday. Uh check check. Yeah, that looks alright. Uh evening hitch. What I mean, you know, what a what a time to be uh, for early doors. When I got the uh, the where is it? Yeah, is that I got this? I mean, you can't see it in this light, but yeah, the specky is out. Um, and it's not, you know, don't, we're not doing any specky coding or anything like that. Um, it's just that. Um, what the hell's happened with that? Where is that? There it is. Okay. Uh, there we go. Uh, it's just that. Um, uh, we ran C64 demos last week uh, because the game that we're porting, Million Molly, is originally made on C64. Um, so I thought the Specky should come out this week because it's only fair. So, yeah, there you go. I did have a lot of fun with my uh, C64 this week, though. So um, I was playing Short Circuit from tape, so it was a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, let's have a little shout out to you lot. Grid Point Retro Hitch, Flow from Commander Keen, obviously. Uh, Didier, how you doing, mate? Uh, Waterman, Retro32, Neversoft, Xeron. Uh, I've already said Waterman, haven't I? Yeah. Uh, Gridpoint uh, and uh, Curl and Fluffy Martin and iTech from Australia. Good morning to you, sir. Um, Francis, of course. Um, and I think that's all of you in there. Uh, Hopmeister, love it. <laughs> how you doing, mate? Yes, Night Shift, Rob Smith, Subby. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're gonna do more game dev, obviously, because this is now essentially a series. Um, I haven't, don't, I don't think I've touched the code since last week. So last week we uh, replaced all the graphics with the 16 color ones, even though we're still running everything in 32 color. Um, and what else did we do? Um, oh, we added the, uh, I think we had, did we add the graphics in for the tiles on the side. I think so. I can't remember what we did. That is quite loud, though. Actually, that's quite loud. There we go. That's better. Um, Fred Second, greetings from Frankfurt. It was you that I saw at the weekend, wasn't it? Didn't I message you to give us your uh, uh, your website info? That's it. Hey, hey, hey. Right. Um, yes, right. Let we just do this quickly. Oh, damn, have I refreshed chat? I don't know. Um, right, let me just show you this quick. We'll just do this quick. So, uh, hang on. Well, uh, yeah, uh, hang on. Let, let me just... Uh, let's do that first, because... I really don't want you to see that chat. <laughs> I don't want you to see that one. <laughs> Very good reasons. Um, so, TTE, wasn't it? Demo scene, general coding. Oh, is it TTE chat house? There it is. Okay, we've got it. Yeah, visit the site. That's fine. And then let me just um, let me close Discord so I don't accidentally open it up again. Um, need a dark thing for this, obviously. So, sorry about uh, that, champs. But... This is Mod Sample Master by Fred Second. I have, I saw this website ages ago, but uh, um, you know he, he reminded me of how bloody great this thing is. Um, uh, it's basically a module index, and it'll find uh, samples that are similar. It's a massive module database, um, and it'll find samples that are used in uh, other tunes. Uh, follow that link all across you know every single tune you've got. Um, and he put te was it uh, speech to text in there, so you can do uh, was it this now? Module file name, module sample name, instrument. Oh, is, is it not in there yet, uh, Fred? Uh, it finds all tunes that use the samples from Hyperbase, which is all of them. <laughs> uh, uh, speech to text is soon there. Okay, right, cool. So, yeah. Um, so, you can do for. Oh, let's just do this quick. So, let's just search for. Um, um, actually, let's search for. Uh, so I can I can show up myself, but let's try um, uh, T X fifty five. Oh yeah, here we go. So actually, what you'll find is that sample and this one, that one, now uh, this one. That one is used in. That's one of my uh, bass noises. But it's used in eight other modules, so if we get that. Oh, yeah, it's in uh, Escape, Every Way, 
the 100 miles per pattern there you go so yeah how bloody great is that so uh, another Wednesday evening with Hoff thank you very much Riker77 welcome in Guten Abend Keen yes so anyway that is uh, let me just do um, if you want to have some fun with it I'll just give you the uh, link there um, go and have a, 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 a mooch so that actually that's a good point why don't we go back to home and then uh, so do search uh, hyper based right Okay. There we go. Using 256 uh, modules, 277. What's that one? Yeah, fair enough. 232 modules. Bloody hell, look at that. So, yeah, pretty. Uh, where's that clamp? Using 132. I wonder if it's spotted mine yet. Let's have a look. Uh, find RMX H0F Ah, it's obviously not propagated out to there yet So there we go uh, Can Conqueror, welcome in uh, Right, let's uh, let's get on with Oh, that was the other thing uh, Benimo here, I didn't see him actually That's the mo that's the Fairlight demo we were talking about the other day So anyway uh, we'll, uh, we'll dig into that later Anyway uh, let's have a look. Uh, how many mods are for any of the ST? Oh, God. Um. Okay. Uh, we got to do it now. Search. Um. Uh. Let's have a think. What was they, what was it called? Uh. Uh. I can't think of any of his module names at the minute. Sample index. Uh, Moog. I Moog two, is it? Oh. Uh, Platin, how you doing, mate? Mayor as well, welcome in. Can anyone remember a tune echoing? There we go, that's it good shout isn't it so sample index no uh, search uh, module echoing yep that's good uh, interesting because there's a lot of them isn't there <laughs> okay oh 300 oh there we go 1,610 uh, other modules that the that the dig dug base. Right. Anyway, that's uh, that's enough. That's it. That's right. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, it's great, isn't it? Right. So where do we go? Here we go. Here. That really nicely timed because that music disc has just finished. Right, so I've got some demos. So you can't do the selection again um, because I've got no discs here. So um, uh, unless you want to give me a, uh, a starting letter. Oh, I don't think anyone's actually understood what I said. Give us the first letter. We're going to move on that. E, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, E, done, we're in. Is it actually going to work? Yep.
<laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, that is a uh, uh, Stardust um, uh, Elysium State, which is Wowzers. Really great demo. Um, so there you go. I've got no background music now, but that's fine. Let's just grab another demo because it these load dead quick anyway. Um, but yeah, absolute banger. I remember um, seeing everyone go on about it at po on Poe and there was no download for it. And I refused to watch it um, without my real hardware. So uh, give us a letter then, chaps. Hey, Terrible Fire, how you doing, mate? Look, I'm awake now. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> D. D. D has been picked. There we go. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure of this. Oh. I think that's the end. We'll give it a little while anyway, just in case. So yeah, there you go. Um, brilliant. <laughs> um, I love ZX Spectrum demos because when you see them, you think, how the hell have they done that? And then when you know that basically the interrupts are absolute rubbish and they think, is there any like, there's two interrupts and only one of them is, um, uh, only one of them is uh, a V blank. So um, yeah, how you do per line stuff is basically counting cycles it's mental I just like it sounds like a horrible thing to do so <laughs> right uh let me just uh before we pick another one there we go i've got some background music good but yeah, all right zeron but yeah we know you like to make things difficult uh right yeah give us another letter see we are able to get you a lot to pick this is this still works Especially seeing as uh, I couldn't get the long file name support working, so we don't actually know what they are. So, two, one, two, uh, two. I know, right, I can't run that, sorry, because it needs a Turbo Sound dual AY card, which I don't have, so uh, uh, let's do Ad Astra.
It's got to be said, I do love watching Spectrum demos because if you know anything about how little hardware this thing has and uh, how tough it is, it makes watching these all the, all the better. So yeah, there we go. That was uh, Ad Astra. Didn't catch a group, sorry. Um, but yeah, fab demo. Love that. Button. There we go. Right. Uh, Oh, the, yeah, the bitmap layout is hilarious. So, uh, oh, so, um, didn't we do it in color already? Oh, we did delight, didn't we? Um, Joker Arise. I don't think I've got that on here, actually. Um, I tell you what, we are, I tell you what, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pull rank, actually. <coughs> here we go.
there you go. I mean, it, it, yeah, gas man. What a legend. <laughs> I mean, what a fabulous. I mean, what I love about them is that they're technically good, but they're just really fun to watch. So, um, yeah, gas man. How you do? I hope you're well, mate. Uh, brilliant demo. Uh, right, let's try. What have we? Uh, we're not doing it in the future. We'll save that for later. Oh god, is that mean we're nearly out? Elysium. Uh, we have done it in color. Did we do unspoken? So, was that a Vic Twenty demo? No. Um, it is a. It, you can't really see it very well. So ZX Spectrum we got out today. We had the C64 out uh, last week and watching some demos on that. So I thought it was only fair to let the uh, ZX Spectrum uh, have its time in the fray. So and uh, obviously there's brilliant demos for it. So. Um, 200 doesn't work. Ad Astra we've done. Unspoken we haven't. So I think let's go with that. Okay, it's by the same people that did the Elysium State demo earlier, which was also amazing. But that was that was bananas. Yeah, there we go. We'll have some of that. Thank you very much. Great soundtrack. Um, how much sync was that? Fucking just so good. My goodness. Uh, right, let's get some tunes on. Um, yeah, fantastic demo. Uh, let's go for... Oh, where's the other thing? Hang on a sec. Just get, we'll leave that one in a sec. Give me a sec. Uh, <laughs> thanks for uh, uh, tweaking that up. Let me just get this sorted a sec because I actually want. Uh, where is it? Uh, no, no, uh, no, no. That's interesting. Where have I put it? Hang on a sec. Bear with me a minute. Oh, I know what. We could just run it for me, couldn't we? Hang on. So, uh, uh, size? Size will do, yeah. We'll find it that way, won't we? Uh, okay. Whoop. 
There we go. Let's just sort this out a sec. Right, let's get some desktop action up. Where are you? Bear with me. Uh, there we go. Right. Just... <laughs> Thanks for that, Depeche. Yep, fill the empty void. There we go. Uh, let's just... That is way too loud. There we go. Let's go down to about there. Beautiful. Uh, right to save me some time. That's fine, mate. It's all good. So, uh, yes. Uh, does the numbers uh, 133 uh, tells me that we need to watch a demo with that uh, name? Uh, no, it just means you're elite. So, right. So, where did we get to last week? Let's have a look. Oh, I did do one little thing to this, right? So, let's pull this up. Make sure that's about there. Um, oh, Didier, mate. Why is that not? Alerts aren't working again. Thank you so much. Uh, 8 Bit Tomato, uh, VDV, Jake the Dog, uh, Baddy Ian. Is that my nemesis? Uh, Dexter423, and uh, Mr. Cola out there in the back, mate. I hope you're well. Um, uh, give uh, DDA a shout. It's just gifted you a sub. So, oh, that's also it's also the port of our uh, BBS, our world headquarters. So, uh, right, let's have a quick look because I did do one thing whilst. Oh, it's not being shit. Good. Oh <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's also it's uh, it's 8:33. It's not 13:33, uh, is it? Uh, later. Don't install an update when we just started on the bloody stream. That's a terrible idea. Fred Second, going to bed, have a good evening. Uh, lovely to meet you at the weekend, mate. Um, it was a cracking weekend, so, um, yeah. Um, yeah, lovely to meet you, mate. And, uh, yeah, have a lovely evening. Right, so you can see down here at the side, um, I've actually, we put all these bits in last week. I think that's what we were doing. We were cutting them out. Yes, that's right. Um, and then I put uh, together some code to basically put the uh, level number in there. So we now know which... Uh, uh, which level we're on, which is kind of handy for debugging. So, uh, here we go. Oh God, I keep doing that. So I thought today, maybe we might look at trying to add the proper, like per pixel movement in. Uh, we could do a quick thing is just uh, get the right sprites for whether you're facing left or right as well. So we can do that. Oh shit, okay, I fucked that up. So, um, Keen, it's uh, a 2133 here as well, so. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, okay. There we go. See, that's how you complete that level. Right. So there we go. I've got that. I've got that. I've got that. Right. So let's do the direction thing first, because that's going to be pretty, pretty quick to do. Um, so what do we need to do? So um, let's go to the player code. Let's have a look. Player. Okay. Player check controls. Right. And what we'll do is uh, player idle. And then if you press uh, right, uh, move left. Okay. Player direction. Okay. So what we can do here is actually just copy that player direction. And we'll call that player facing. Right? Okay. And if we do move, then what we'll do is move uh, player direction into, yeah, let's just do that actually. Player direction X into player underscore facing uh, A4, right? So that shouldn't break anything, right? Just at the H flip bit. Yeah, it's uh, definitely the wrong platform. Okay, so it hasn't crashed, which is great. So now let's do a player show idle image, which is incorrect, but uh, we've got a tick counter there. 
and that will add and then and to that. Okay, so so what we can do is move that into there, add one and and three, okay, and then move that into there. Okay, so what we'll do is um, uh, let's look at the sprites because I can't remember where the offset is. <laughs> so, uh, let's have a look. Uh, revealing file explorer. Here we go. Uh, 16 bit sprites are oh, fresh. That's where they are now, aren't they? But actually, that's fine because they actually start there. So, where do they start moving left? Okay, there. So, that's a one, two, three. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12, 24. Oh, I've lost count now. 24, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 33 to offset it. Is that right? 1, 2, 3. That doesn't, that doesn't seem like the right number to me. Uh, 12 times 3 minus 4. It's 32, okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. So, <laughs> it makes you happy, Francis. It, it makes me happy as well. I do love a good sprite uh, sprite sheet. Uh, right, so 32 is the, um, let's go to constants. Uh, player, sprite, left, offset equals 32 yeah that's fine right so um, what we need to do then is uh, test.w player underscore facing yeah a4 uh, if it's my if it's positive which would be 0 or 1 then don't add that uh, is right we'll call that otherwise we'll add dot w Oh, that's a terrible idea. Uh, let's add that after there, actually. There, that's better. Add .w uh, player facing sprite offset to d0, and then we'll show that sprite. Right. Uh, is this going to be a 32k K game? Um, I don't think so, Clayton. It's gonna. It's already. Uh, what's our? Uh, oh yeah, that's, no, 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 it's right. Um, the code is already 5k. The data in fast is uh, 27k. Uh, data in chip RAM, uh, RAM is already 100k. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's too big already. Well, crunch it. <laughs> Well, that's not worked at all, has it? Uh, okay, so hey, I'll make sure we're building the right thing. Yeah, building main. Okay. Player facing is a word. Yeah. So let's just try that. Okay, player facing. Try move. Okay. Uh, Uh, where was it then? Let's go back to player and in frame, yeah. Player facing. Okay. So yeah. And um, where was that other break point? Let's just check that. Oh, that is adding to it. Huh? Oh, sh okay, right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right. Put that above then. That might help, might it? Uh, 
Hmm, is there a better way of doing this? Because it seems like a bit of a mess, actually. Show Sprite, why is it? We're not even using D0. Why are we adding, pulling that back up again? That's what we need to do. There we go. Uh. <laughs> Having the sprites bounce. Okay, let's um, let's change that again. Let's put that back to where it was. So I want the anim frame just being an anim frame because it, it it makes more sense that way. Okay. So that's fine. Yeah, that looks good. Right. Get rid of that break point. Yay, look at that. <laughs> Left and right. That is fantastic. Right. So, let's have a look then. Bingo! Right, so let's just, uh, <laughs> I was waiting for that. Right, let's just check it works for both of these. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, left and right, yeah. Good. Switch. Oh no, hang on, go there. Switch. Yeah, that looks good. Beautiful little sprite sheet. That's what we like. Uh, Bitwise, so much progress. You, uh, I've missed this. Uh, yeah, well, um, I did. I did a bunch of work on it um, a, a couple of weeks ago. So, um, core mechanic-wise, it's there. But we've got what we need to do now is add the moving to it. So, Nibs, mate, thank you so much for the sub, mate. I'm desperate for a drink. Run out of beer. Um, right, let's just just battle through it for a bit. Right, let's have a look at how on earth this thing actually works. Ah! Thank you, Platon. Right, that's a good shout, actually. So let's fix that up whilst we're here. Find start underscore level. Let's set that to 22. That'll do. 22, save, yep. Yeah. Right, we can fix that quite quickly, I think, though. No? Okay, yeah. And then if we go that way. Okay, right, that's cool. So, uh, I think that's in player switch. Player switch. Dockster, why is this not making any noise today? Uh, welcome in, mate. Thank you. Uh, uh, shout out to Xfade, Ricardo1994, iTech Oz, uh, Dapper SW, and Kitty60, uh, Docs has given you a, a gifted you a sub. Thank you very much, mate. And have I just done? Um... Why is that there twice? Oh, I know why. It's fine. It was a, a terrible hack. So, um, and who's that? A Commander Keen there, uh, gifting out a sub to Tasman Audio, uh, retired Android. Uh, uh, D D I, I can never say that right. Dedalius, uh, JMA80, and Lubreeks. So uh, there you go. Give you a shout to Commander Keen. Thank you very much, guys. Um, right, so draw player frozen. So there we go. This should be dead easy, right? 46, right? Okay, and then all we have to do is. Uh, Test of W uh, player underscore facing comma A4 uh, branch if positive then is right so that's fine dot is right uh, and then add Q dot W one two D two and I think that should be it. Just 
just start that again. Right, let's check. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Excellent. There we go. Oh, I've screwed up the level anyway. Uh, why am I always thinking of SEC plus sub instead? I don't know. SEC plus sub? I don't, I have no idea. Let's check that. Okay, so the next thing we will need to do is determine if they're on a ladder. So, uh, because we've got sprites in the sprite sheet for that as well, which are here. But the animation for that is there, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Why twelve? That's horrible. Um, oh yeah, it is twelve. And then that's getting up. They've got all these other bits and pieces in here, but I tell you what we'll do. We need to work out how we're on a. How do we determine if we're on a bloody thing? I've forgotten how it works now. Let's have a look. Uh, so let's have a look. Um, player check controls. Uh, player controls trigger. Let's just check uh, up. And PQ. Okay, then uh, that's fine. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so we check whether it's a ladder ID. Ladder ID, compared on the ladder ID. Oh, okay, that should be quite easy then. So. <laughs> Wrangling or strangling, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, uh, other. Character sprites overlapping. Let's have a quick look at that, actually. It might be the case, because I kind of stole my... Um... Mm, maybe not. I don't know. Let's have a little deeper look. Okay. Looks fine. Yeah, I think that's probably all right. Right, so ladder ID. And if it's empty, or if it's zero, I mean, then you're not on a ladder. So this should be quite easy then. So, uh, where was that uh, player show idle anim? Okay. So if it's right, or left, which makes no difference here. Okay, let's just do a bit of hackiness for now, just to see if it actually works, right? So let's uh, uh, BQ no ladder, right? Oh, what on earth is this? Okay, <laughs> I don't know. This sounds quite easy, famous last words, yeah, yeah. Dot no ladder, right? So if we are on the ladder, we're gonna do something else, right? We're just going to add um, a player sprite ladder offset, right? Ladder offset equals, uh, where was it? So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 
16. Okay, let's try that. Uh, add that to D0. Yep, and then uh, BRA dot is right, <laughs> even though it's not. <laughs> That'll do. Oh. Uh, hi, Prince Face, mate. How you doing? I didn't see you there. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's kind of not right, is it? Um... Mm. Oh, uh, that's why, because that's not right at all, is it? Uh, okay, no, I've screwed this up a little bit, haven't I? Right. Okay, move ladder next. Compare that, uh, uh, move block ladder. Okay, and then that resets that. Okay, that's to do with that. Retro Gaming Music, how you doing? Welcome in. Um, who else did I see there? A Kickstart as well. Uh, programmers were wondering how games were implemented back in the day. Yeah, well, here we are. Oh, you're raiding. Welcome in, mate. Thanks for the raid. Um, we are going to go to a break very shortly. Um, so if you've not seen this, if you've just joined us... Uh, let me just show you uh, what we're doing here today. So this is a game, I've, I've obviously messed it up today now, um, called Million Molly from the C64. We're porting it to the Amiga, and it's like a cute little puzzly game, um, but I've just messed up the sprite. So now it always thinks I'm on a ladder. So yeah, that's what we need to fix. Um, but yeah, who was it? Yeah, see goggles. Um, Okay, I know what I need to do, but I need to get a drink first because I'm parched as a popper dom. Um, Molly is dancing now. Yes, Desert Fish too, yeah. Um, uh, shall I ask which one you want or should we just go straight with the imploder? Give you a sec to decide which BRB we have. I was supposed to do that as well, wasn't I? Um, whoop. Love some imploder. Sorry, just chuck it on. Right, uh, I'll be back in a bit.
Hello, we're back. We're back. Right, uh, barn, barn, barn. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is tradition for us to say there's no fifth channel when there is no fifth channel, so. Um, mm. I'll try, but I don't think it's going to work. I just wanted to say uh, thanks to uh, Retro Gaming Music for the raid, um, but I don't think my shout-outs work. No. I mean, we could have a discussion about Seekanoid and how that's got. Ten channels of audio running, so <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Sorry, go and check him out. He's great. Plays live music, so which is more than I can do. So <laughs> right, so what we want then, facing uh, what we'll do is uh, player underscore uh, on ladder. We'll do. Let's just actually give this its own value, right? A lot of Amiga music uh, live on keyboard. Yeah, very cool stuff. Okay, so. Uh, let's have a look then. So, player code. So that's the idle animation. So what we'll do is test.w because we might as well play it on ladder right no ladder that's fine we'll add that and then we'll show the sprite that's fine okay uh, so controls trigger so if we go uh, move okay control down player direction yeah Next, yeah, up, down. Uh, okay, let's just do a horrible little hack of this, right? Let's just do that. Oh, God, this is horrible, but here we go. Um, I hate this, but here we go. LEA game, okay. Uh, game map move dot w player okay, let's just do this player x a4 into d0 whoa there we go uh, let's do y first actually y and then multiply that by Christ what was the value for that um uh wallpaper width yep and then add dot w player X A forward to D zero, yep, that's good. Elio the game map in A zero, move that into D zero, compare that with that. Okay. Uh no ladder. <laughs> this is horrible. Uh okay. Actually that's all wrong, isn't it? That's D one. D one. D one. Yeah, that's correct. And then we'll move Q. Move Q uh, zero into D two, yeah. Okay, uh, and then B N E uh, dot no ladder, yeah. Okay, dot no ladder. Move dot W. Uh, move Q D two one into D two, yeah. And then we'll move dot W D two into player underscore lad uh, on ladder, yeah. That is horrible. I will fix this later. A4. And then we're just going to test it again later down there for no apparent reason. So. Oh, damn you. No ladder. Uh, no. Oh, God. Horrible, you. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Test. Where's that then? Play out on the ladder. There we go. Right. Right, see if this works. Oh, looks good. Oh, there we go. 
Right, so the only other thing we need to do now is freeze. So, because if we look in here, we have a lot of freeze sprites as well. Where are they? Which is, oh Jesus, uh, that is uh, 12, uh, 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so that's 8 by 12, 96 and 97. So who is who? Oh, that's very annoying. Okay. 96 and 97. So I can never remember who's who. It's Millie that starts the game, right? Uh, will she drop down uh, the ladder on freezing? No. No, she stays in place. So, um, so okay. Oh, this is a bit horrible as well, but fuck it, it'll do. Um, find player underscore on ladder. Yeah. Player on ladder, and then we'll have another word saying uh, uh, player freeze ladder. Uh, oh God. Uh, player ladder freeze ID. That'll do. Yeah. Cool. I'll have that. So on our player initialization, uh, we need. Is that up here somewhere? Player logic, player switch. Oh, it's in that, the act, act of it is, isn't it? Player in it. Where is we put that? Oh, here we go. In it, Millie, I think. Okay, yeah. Uh, Move.w. Oh, God, let's just use constant 96 into player sprite offset. No. Player underscore freeze ID. Yep. Yeah. Let's just have a look at them again. Don't lick the frozen ladder. No, I wouldn't lick the frozen ladder. So that one would be 97, actually. Okay. So that one, Millie, I think, is 97. And Molly is 96. Okay. I know they're constants in the code here. I don't like it, but you know, it's what it is now. Okay, that feels like that's going to be correct. So now we need to uh, find player switch again, right? Player switch. Right, here we go. Player switch. BSR draw frozen player. Okay. Okay, so D2 is our sprite. That's interesting. Why have I done that D0, D1, D2? Well, anyway, I'm not bothered. So let's um, um, move.w player freeze ID into D2. Yep. Test.w player underscore on ladder. Yep, A4. BNE is right. Just draw the sprite. Otherwise, we do the offsets for facing left or right. Bloody hell, I think that might work. <clears throat> <laughs> Clayton, you think that's chaotic? Okay, let's have a look. Um, let's have a look. No, they are three binaries. No, that's all binaries. Where the hell is it? Oh, hang on. 
Here we go. I said it must be in here somewhere. The hell, where are they all? No. Buy a menu, menu logo. See, so you know I can't find them anymore. No, I was going to show you the ones for uh, Nightmare. They are a nightmare. Oh, there you go. How about that? There's a JSON file that describes where everything is, so, um, yeah, I mean, basically you, you say, uh, you feel uncomfortable now, Francis, yeah, <laughs> fair enough, it's understandable, uh, it's, um, it was pretty painful, that, uh, where did food bar go then, come on, food bar, um, yep, there we go, right, tunes, so, yeah, did we do this, well, I think we did, Facing, positive, right, is right. Add one to that, for left, okay. Uh, right. Oh dear, that's not right at all, is it? What's happened there? Yeah. Oh, okay, there's a few other things we need to do as well, isn't there? Right, so, uh, where's that player in it? Uh, we need to, uh, player in it, let's in it, player. So let's set that up and um, uh, clear.w player underscore um, on ladder. That might help, okay. Still doing it. Why is it doing that? Okay, we're getting the we're halfway there, but we've, we've now got some junk here somewhere. So, what have I done to mess this up then? And it players, yeah, yeah, on ladder. Uh, okay. Draw frozen player. Let's just try this for a sec. And if that doesn't do it. I draw the frozen player three times then, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, so move Q0 into D2, that into there. Test it on ladder is right, okay. That's fine because we've just got one value there. Okay. Oh, we do player switch twice at the start. Yeah, that's true, yep. Test player is facing. So let's just run that again. Uh, what does BCC... Uh, huh? What does BCC... I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not repeating the word. <laughs> <laughs> Not drunk enough yet. Okay, so player X, player Y. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's literally utter junk, isn't it? Player X has come up like that. That is not right at all.
and the player ladder freeze ID is not set. So why are we calling this so early? No fall. What the hell is that? Okay. Draw moved player. No fall. Uh, We got a little, uh, we got a little problem here, chaps, chapesses, ladies and thems. Let's run this again. That is absolute junk. I think we can agree on that. Let's see where we end out. Oh, that's interesting. So. That's drawn a frozen player, which is fine. Oh! Now yeah, draw frozen. Okay, right, that is freaking remarkable. How has that ever worked? Player switch, draw frozen player into A0, test A0. Okay. No switch. Then it does the switch. Okay, now that's probably fine. Hang on, play a switch. Hang on, here we go. Yeah, that's the problem. Player pointers. There we go. Uh, convert A5 into A4. Uh, that'll do. I think that'll probably fix it. Right. Let's put the draw sprite back in. Uh, <clears throat> Kickstart where you can uh, debug, assemble a code while playing Amiga games inside WinUE. Uh, how to do that? It's uh, Visual Studio Code and uh, the extension that I'm using is called um, Amiga Assembly there. Um, it is fantastic. Let me give you a link to this little puppy. Um, uh, repository? Is a, yeah, yeah, here we go. That'll do. Um, but yeah, it is, um, it's fantastic. <laughs> Fifth stage of debugging. How did this ever work? Yeah, very true. Right, now. I mean, literally, Maddie. No, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I'm not doing it again this week. Uh, okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Right. Let's go back to the debug. Okay, right. Got no junk in there now. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Yay! And we got no junk on the screen. And they're frozen. And they're left and they're right. And that is that. We can do that, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Let's check that, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Right, that's great. Um, so now we want to make it actually move. <laughs> I mean, it was going to happen, wasn't it? So now, I know we've got all the logic in place, but it all happens straight away. So everything falls, everything else. So there's no movement here. So that's kind of what I wanted to do next, which is going to be a little tricky because I've already written all the bloody code to do this. Um, and it might make it a little complicated, but, um, yeah. So, how are we going to do this? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot to, uh, oh, yeah, this is the other thing about this game. Hang on, I'll just show you here. So, the other character is actually part of the, um, the puzzles as well. So, when you freeze them, you can use them as, like, a stepping stone to get somewhere else. 
So like we put that character there, move that there, and then that character can get to the ladder and then go over there and then get that. So it's dead cool. I love the, get, uh, the level design on this thing. It's so good. Right. Um, so we want to detect, uh, can you move uh, their multiple blocks without drawing? Or he's just, uh, can you move their multiple blocks without drawing? Or is it just, I don't understand. Oh, when they fall, hang on, let me see if I can find one for you. Here we go. Oh, that's not right. You're not supposed to be there. What's happened there? What the hell? Uh, hang on. We've got another bug now. Uh, actors. Uh, clear moved actors. Okay, init. Oh, init game objects. Okay. Clear the actor count. Uh, I am. Uh, yeah, uh, it's just probably not catching up. Hey, Thalabis, mate, how you doing? Um, let's, uh, why the fuck is this doing this? Let's just do something. Uh, find player, uh, Millie, plus. Okay, yeah, it is there. Clear their player status. And then only Millie and Molly into the player pointers. Yeah. So that should be fine. That's on level init, but... That's interesting. Why is that being... Why is that being a knob? Let's try and trigger that again. Because that level wasn't supposed to have two players in it. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay. Fine. Okay, there's only one there now. That's weird. Only one it. Oh, hang on. And there's supposed to be two there? I can never bloody remember now. No, there's only supposed to be one there, isn't there? It appears to be moving. No, so that's two. There's no two players there. That's correct. Okay. Right until she's on her own again. Yeah, the two two people there. It looks like it's supposed to be two there. Okay. No, there we go. Okay. The player's not moving, so that's definitely a, a, a screw up. So we've broken something. Uh, Grid point you off, mate. Thanks for tuning in. We're like we're going backwards today. I mean, admittedly, we could um, do that, but so why is that? Uh, let's go here. Okay, and then okay, so we are hitting this. We are clearing that status. <coughs> okay. Uh, let's try, let's just uh, do this a bit more sensibly. Player underscore status. About A0. Uh, A yeah. Yeah, and that's really obvious. Player pointers. And then Molly. Clear dot W. Player underscore status. Comma A0. Okay. Whoa. Okay, that's fine. So that is clearing the player status. So it shouldn't. It shouldn't be allowed to switch between the players at that point. Ah. Uh, 
And we can change the name of the game to Millie if that helps. <laughs> okay, I know what it is. We, we uh, messed up the other thing with the player switch, didn't we? Player switch. Okay, because we've hacked this. Um. Oh, and that moves. Okay. Shh. Okay. Okay. So this is a dirty hack. Uh, move. Dot W. Um, uh, Merely uh, plus uh, act, uh, player status. No, that's no, that's no good. That's no good. Ah, <coughs> fuck's sake. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we have all the producer solutions. I like that. Uh, you think it should be Molly then? That's me, you know. Okay. Problem is with running a player switch. And it tests if the other player is actually active when we do that. Okay. Um, bloody hell. Okay. So where do we call that from? Map stuff. That's a knit level. Okay. Right. Draw map. Okay, there might be a better way to do this. Uh, draw map. Yes, I'll draw map. Start B blank. Yeah, draw map. RTS. Is that the level in it? Then is it? I didn't lev. I didn't label this very well, did I? BSR level in it, which would then eventually stop that. Set level assets. In it, the game objects. So the players would be active by that point. Okay. Okay, so the problem is we're doing a hack to do the player switch twice, aren't we? That's a hack actually, let's just get rid of that for a sec. <coughs> Surprised I haven't fallen asleep. <laughs> Okay, that's why, because it was a dirty hack to make it draw both of the players to start with. Okay. We should do that properly, shouldn't we? Okay. <laughs> it was so dirty that. There we go, then the other player appears. That's why. I remember now. Um, yeah. Okay. Doing it properly sounds like a good idea. Yeah, uh, let's tell you what. Let's do. Um, let's do this then. Uh, I mean, it's still probably going to be a little bit hacky, but let's do. Um, let's go to the variables. Right. Let's just do uh, play account. Right. Which is RS word one. Okay, beautiful. And then on level init, uh, we'll. Clear.w player underscore count. Come at A5. And then what we'll do is on level in it. Init game objects. Uh, and then init milli. Uh, no, init player will add Q.w1 to uh, player underscore count. Come at A5. Right. Beautiful, right? Now let's go back to that hack that we did, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Uh, CMP dot W uh, two comma player count A five B and E not both. There we go. <clears throat> Booney mate, how you doing? Lovely to see you there. Oh, what? What on earth? Player underscore count? No. Not underscore, uh, underscore. That is the... That's the other one. Okay. 
Right. Oh, thanks for the uh, sub, mate. Thank you, Booty. Right. Let's see if this works now. Okay, that looks good. Okay, let's just run mental all the way up. Oh, you absolute chunter. Is it done yet? No, of course it isn't. Move.w play account. Come back A5. D0. That's fine. Count. And then we'll uh simp one with D0. BQ dot both. Okay, don't think that's gonna make any difference, is it? Leveling it. It should have done that before we get there so let's just put that there and see what we've got nearly polishing at the moment yeah <laughs> we've got, got to talk about Easter eggs at some point as well play account is two that's fine okay because there are two of you there at that point so that's good You know, just doing that player switch is a really terrible idea. Let's just not hack that for now. Let's work out how we do that properly later. All right? That's fine. <laughs> God. <coughs> right, instead, let's look at some player logic. Uh, so going how quickly you got this up and running. It's quite logically, it's quite a simple game, actually. Uh, what if the Easter egg was no Easter eggs? Do you know what I was thinking, uh, Thalamus, actually, was um, I set up the C64 the other day with, um, um, I've got one of the uh, Ultimate 2 carts and, and the tape adapter, so I was loading stuff off cassette, like Paradroid's got a great loader. Um, uh, what else? Just obviously ran the Ocean Loader a couple and, and the rest of it. And then I loaded Delta with its Mixi load. And I remember that's Thalamus. So... You know, maybe we could do that. So, if you've never seen it before, it's fantastic. Um, I suggest you go and fire it up in an emulator and have a play with it. I tell you what we'll do then. I've got a better idea about this. Let's do this properly right. So let's move that into there. Uh, actually, let's just compare that. CMP W1. Okay, one. Uh, let's just do two. Fuck it, yeah. So they're two, actually two players. Uh, if it's not two players, sorry. Let's do this right. BNE. Not both. Right, so let's not do a player switch in that instance, because that's a terrible idea. But what the player switch does do is draws the frozen player. Uh, draw frozen player, okay. So the player ID is in A4. And that's literally all it does. Right, so we could just I reckon we could just do this, move that into there, do the other player, oh, I don't think that's going to work either is it? It worked to a point but there's another problem. Uh, not both. Uh, Braxton Evening, how you doing? Uh, 
Uh, change the barrels uh, to actually Easter eggs. Yeah, that's a good point. But yeah, I like the idea of Mol E load. That's that's very good. Uh, right. Okay, so that does draw the frozen play, but I think there's a problem here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's still no good. <laughs> Why is it so broken about this? Right, does draw frozen player do anything to the player statuses? No. No. That's so bizarre. Uh, Kickstart, do you have any good uh, resource on how to implement a game for Amiga? Like, should uh, be uh, the structure for code, any guidelines? Um, I'll, we can just run through this quite quickly, actually. Um, this is how I have mine set up. Uh, not necessarily the best, but it's just, it works for me. So, um, if you're doing assembly language, that is, if you're doing C, I can't help you. But if you're doing assembly language, I have basically... Uh, uh, my register setup is A5 points to variables all the time, right? And variables is basically this massive structure here. Uh, no, variables here. So anything I need a, a value for something, there's Millie, the player structure, Molly, the player structure, uh, a list of actors, uh, a, a, a array of structures and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that is always in A5, right? Now, yeah, true. That's yeah. That's that's another one of my structures. It's horizontal um, and passed out. That's a pretty good one. Um, and then the other one I always have is A6. You'll always see A6 points to custom, which is um, uh, there it is. So you've always got access to the the hardware if you're banging on the hardware. So uh, structure-wise, after that, um, it is a bit of a wild west. But try and use the same registers for the same thing all the time you'll notice uh let's have a look here sprite tools for example if we find uh if we find a d bra somewhere you'll notice that it's at d7 so registers d7 is like my first counter and d6 is my first counter so i try and make sure that they're left like that and then d0s a0s the lower end they're more scratch registers so that's kind of it um and then just make sure you put it into separate files and don't have it all in one big file. Use includes and stuff. We need a stream of that. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> I should do the. Uh, I should uh, do a stream learning C, shouldn't I? Oh, no. uh, right. Mm. Uh, the vids of previous streams are also on YouTube. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Also, don't write any bugs. That is a great, great. Thank you. No worries. Kickstart always happy to answer a question if i've missed it then just harass me again i'm very good at getting deep into this stuff and then forgetting what i was doing um right right i know what we need to do right we can't be calling player switch right find player switch all right sod that right so find a knit player Okay, and I imagine before we run that. Uh, okay, so init millimit molly. Okay, add one to the player count. Okay. Um, move that into there. Move that into the player direction because we're always facing that way. Okay. Um, uh, <coughs> So uh, let's cmp.w underscore my player underscore count player count play five. There we go. Uh, let's just do it here when we're knitting the player. Right. So what we want to do is um, mm. Uh, 
Ah, uh, BNE dot no two. No other. There we go. Okay, and then BSR draw frozen, draw player frozen, yeah. A4, yeah, it's good. Yeah, draw sprite. Happy with that. Right, let's just do that there. Player count is two. If it's not two, don't draw the frozen. Okay. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> oh dear. What on earth happened? Oh yeah. Oh, no, that's fine. Kind of making this worse as we go. Yeah, thanks, Bon. Okay. BSR draw, but move player X and Y, which is already set up. Multiply that, yeah. Uh, player sprite offset, that should be set, yeah. Oh yeah, I see what's happened, yeah. <coughs> okay. So that's the danger of uh, having uh, a lot of that kind of stuff, uh, registers and stuff being set, then you end up accidentally using one of them whilst calling a routine. Getting from worse to worse at the moment, isn't it? How is that even possible? The fuck? Drink your juice, that will help. I'm trying to, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's just cheat. Let's do uh, push all, pop all. Actually, pop most. Fuck it. Uh, push most, pop most. There we go. Right. Have I not got that? Oh dear. Have to fix that. Okay. Pop all. There we go. Not drawing the other freaking player though, is it? Okay, this is a, a, an absolute washout. Uh, so uh, I wrote most. Okay, so that's a that's a good question, right? Oh, it is there. Push most, pop most. Um, so what that does is that saves and restores all of the registers apart from A5 and A6, which is variables and custom, which should always be static um, addresses anyway. So. What's the point in storing them on the stack if they're always going to be used by your code? So, um, push most. Why didn't that work then? That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's why. Push most. And then pop most. No, po most. Okay, yeah, that is good. Good, good, good. Right, pop moist, barn, 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 that is, oh, that is weird. Right, I'm going to sack off this whole play, drawing the player thing that has been an absolute bane, and we'll work out a proper way of doing it at a later date. Right, let's get rid of that as well, sod it. Right, <coughs> I'm getting so annoyed. Right, soggy register, yeah. So... What we're going to do then is uh, let's go back to player logic, player.asm. Filthy code ahead, yeah. Okay, player switch, that's fine. 
Uh, okay. We just run that as player logic, don't we? Okay, cool. So, uh, what we want to do is uh, player check controls. So, let's say, for example, the player is idle. Um, and then they move right. Yeah, they move right. Okay, then we do a move. And then we do a player direction. Player try move. Uh, okay, player do move. Okay, so what we're going to do, play a move actor, okay. Fuck me, there's so much logic in there as well, isn't there? Shit. <laughs> oh, night Francis, mate. No worries. Oh, I'll speak to you tomorrow, mate. Okay. Play a move actor. Let's play a move actor. We don't want that. Hang on. Let's go back a step. Let's go back a step. Right. So, player do move. So, if it's empty or a ladder, we can move. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is create a, a value for this, I think. So, player moved. Okay. We're just going to move where the player is next. Okay. So, that's what that does. So, let's set up a variable for this. And let's call this... Um, uh, let's have a look. Uh, okay. Uh, player do move. So variables. Let's get variables up. Uh, and we'll do. We'll call this a uh, action status. I think. W one. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh, level in it. First thing we're going to do is if we initialize a level, we want to clear that. Uh, action status. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And then back to player. Go back here. Let's just create another jump table. So let's uh, move dot w action status comma a five into d zero. Uh, jump index d zero. So let's make an index table of dc dot w. Um, uh, we'll call this um, um, action idle, okay, minus dot i, and then dcw uh, action move, action move, yeah, let's just call it that, right, okay, uh, and then let's leave that at that, so we want action idle, yep, that will test the controls and do all of that kind of stuff and then action move what we're going to do is just put action move in there just chuck an rts into it oh crikey that's still running so player check controls so player idle yeah so move right where was it move player try move okay uh, player do move yep player moved and then it sets their direction does next okay and then what we're going to do is move one which is horrible actually action underscore move yeah let's set up that as well because that's that's a terrible idea okay action underscore idle is zero action underscore move is one okay that makes me feel better I don't know about you um, okay uh, action status yes I like the sound of that move action move into action status action move okay So, theoretically speaking now, if I try and move the player, find action status, I've messed that up a bit somewhere, yeah. 
dot i, yeah, that would help. So, theoretically speaking, when I move the player, oh, let's get the start level back to the normal. Okay, yeah, start level. There we go, yeah. Zero, which is one, obviously, but you know. Um, now, if I move, we're at a break. <coughs> Sorry, we're at a break point. Brilliant, okay. And we've got a player, player logic, play, the player's in uh, A4, so this is perfect. Okay. Oh, right, <laughs> here we go. Uh, what does the jump index macro look like? Um, like this. That's it right there. So it adds, uh, that's obviously the, uh, the parameter of, of the data register you've got it in. Um, it doubles it, it moves um, uh, that offset, that word based offset into the data register and then it jumps to it based on the uh, PC, so yeah, so it worked. And the problem is the uh, list has to be right uh, underneath, you could probably change this to have the jump list somewhere else, but uh, this is fine. Oh, it's a bit noisy. Hang on. Food bar. There we go. Uh, right. So now we need to move the player, right? So, uh, right. Um, player idle. There we go. And that's all in there, isn't it? Yeah, this is... Oh, God, this code has already got problematic, hasn't it? Okay. Fuck me. Written out there. Um, so, find action underscore move. There we go. This is why you set up constants for things like this. So we've got an X and a Y and a player next X and a next Y. Okay, player do move. Any blood I play do move, yep. Okay. Okay, try move. Okay, no, it is frozen though, so that should be fine. Okay. <coughs> right. Action move. So let's uh, move W player. Uh, player underscore X, comma. Oh, where was the idle actually? Hang on. Idle. Because that called this, right? Player show idle anim. Okay, that's what we want, right? So, uh, BSR player show walk anim. That'll do. Okay. Player show idle anim. Where the hell is it? There, okay. Show. Oh god. Playing show walk. And in. Right. So it's his own thing. Tick counter. Play all with the yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. That's fine. No ladder. Okay, we'll fix it up later. So that'll do nothing, right? <laughs> but it will build. Okay. 
and it will freeze the game because we're not completing our move. Okay, cool. So let's actually just hack. Sorry, just hack the player animation into here actually because we could do this quite easily and get it to start walking. So one, two, three, four. So it's uh, one, two. Three. So how many have we got? This is four there. So twelve minus four. So we've got eight, haven't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then left is the same, so that's fine actually. So um, we'll leave that tick counter at the top, that's fine. Uh, forget about the Vladder for now. So the, uh, where is it? Add that, so that's the player and in frame. So let's do um, seven, how many do we save us on it? Okay. Uh, and one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's very good. Okay, <clears throat> um, so that is that's fine. We can do that. And so that's we get the anim frame. We add one to it. We turn it round. We go move that into play anim frame. Okay, and then what we could do is should have made an animation system for this, really. So, uh, player interest on ladder. Okay. I'll fix that up in a bit. <laughs> this graphic stuff looks hard. It's just numbers in a sprite sheet. So, so. Um, Oh, I'll tell you what we can do. Let's let's remove the on ladder stuff. I'm not interested in that at the moment. Because I will be fixing that properly later. So let's get rid of that. Just want to show a walk anim. So we do that, move that into the player anim frame. I'm gonna get forget about that. Okay. I do want to offset the left offset, yeah. But also we're gonna add q.w player. Underscore sprite walk offset. There we go. Walk offset from the D zero, which doesn't exist at the moment. Uh, player sprite walk offset. There we go. Son of a gun, come here. Which is there? Walk offset, which is um, twelve. Oh, no, it's four, isn't it? That's four, yeah. Four, there we go. Offset, player walk offset. Yeah, that's copied anyway. So let's just do that, add that. No, that's fine. That can stay. That's the left offset. We'll add that to there. We'll add that to there. Then we'll show the sprite. Okay. <clears throat> it's now fixed. Yes, flow. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I didn't spot that. It's just miracle. Okay. I mean, it's walking now, but this isn't. It's it's moved, <laughs> and we're stuck in that mode as well. Um, okay. So, not the greatest of progress today, but we've got some more animation and stuff. This is fine. <clears throat> uh, it's not half uh, code without typos. Exactly. Yeah. Right, um, time for a quick BRB whilst I get another drink. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in a bit. I'll give you some, let's do some X-Copy today, shall we? Uh, yeah, so, the TTE, oh, TTD, you've asked for the TTE. I'm gonna have to do the TTE now. So, you asked for it, here we go.
welcome in and back. Hello. Uh, welcome in, Raiders. Uh, a bit loony, how you doing? Um, who else did I see there? Oh, Data Dog UK, welcome in. Um, yeah. Uh, how are we doing? We're, we're doing something today. We're obviously still working on the game. Um, oh, what were you up to, mum? Um, I can't do shout outs. My chatbot's broken. So uh, give a bit of uh, I frame grammars died. I frame grabbers. So we rage you. Oh, all right, okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I need to restart PC and fingers crossed. Well, I hope everything works after that. So, uh, right. Player short. So we're doing a walking animation. Okay. But what happens is the player instantly moves into the next spot. And then we're locked into there. So. Uh, and this is starting to turn into a bit of a mess of code, obviously. But, um. Uh, so, action underscore move. So, where did we put that in there? Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. I see what's happening here. So, player, so what we need to do is move that somewhere else. Player, do move. Okay. Uh, and then what we'll do is um, player do move yeah which is there player try okay that's where it does it gets the block the next block and if it's empty then it will do a move and it says player has moved okay Move that into that and that into that. Okay, so maybe we should do that anyway. And then player do move. Let's go back a bit and then look at where that's called. Okay, player try move. Okay, and then on player idle, player check controls. See, I've written all this stuff. I can't remember. Okay, here we go. And move logic. Okay, so let's try. Um, um, if we're in here, dot W uh, action status, right? Go about A5, uh, and then uh, B and E. So we've got an action status. We're going to exit this, right? I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, but we'll we'll see if this works. Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's kind of working. Okay, that is that's that's all right. Uh, okay, so we now need to actually move the player to the next next position. So, um, and the problem is I've set up my players with um. Uh, X and Y positions that are just locked to the to the game grid, right? <laughs> so, um, uh, oh God, that's annoying. Why did I do that? Uh, oh God, if I do this, this would be horrible, wouldn't it? But let's do it. Player underscore X. Um, Decimal, right? RS.W1. Yeah. Uh, deck. Decimal. Ah! Decimal. Decimal. Y decimal. Okay. So, on action underscore move, right? We're going to clear dot W uh, player underscore. X, X deck. Yeah. <coughs> Eventually next week when I've rewritten the game. Yeah, yeah. And then Y. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So, action move. So what we're going to do is action move. Okay, I think we can do add dot W. I'm gonna have to move them in actually. Player 
uh, direction X, yep, to A4, yep, uh, to D0, to D1, Y, yep, and then what we'll do is we'll add D0 to player underscore X deck. This is horrible. I should have done like a proper uh, long for this, but never mind. We might switch this all up later anyway. Yeah, okay, so that's going to move. Okay, and then cmp.w24 uh, with something. Okay, let's just do it with that one. Uh, no, let's do it the other way around. Move that into there. No, that's that's also a terrible idea. Fuck it. Yeah. Keep changing my mind here. Player underscore. Um, no, that's that's fine. That is fine. That is fine. You're second guessing yourself in. It's fine. Um, let's just hack this one in. Okay, so let's move that into there. Okay, yeah, I know what's going to go wrong, but anyway, sorry. Um, I had the W player. And the direction X come up. A4 to D0. Okay. Okay, and then move dot w player underscore y to a four into d one. No. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Add dot W player. Oh god, X deck. A4 to D1. Right. <laughs> Off she goes. Okay, I think the action thing is going to be all right. There she goes. Yeah, I mean, doing it uh, every fifth frame at the moment, which is um, oh, it's pretty bad, isn't it? Look how jerky that is. So here's the question. So let's just leave it running. Okay, we're only affecting the X, so that must be getting like wrapped around at some point. Yeah, okay, well, that's fine. It's not going lower, so. Uh, yeah, no clip, here we go. Wall hacks and no clip. But yeah, that is, um. that's that's progress. <clears throat> so, um, but yeah, I need to count that for a certain number. I don't want another bloody, uh, it does work though. But let's just, let's, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Well, um, uh, where was it? Player, show war cannon, okay. Player X come up deck, okay. Um, player underscore action account, because why not? Why not just really rinse out all the, <laughs> all the values? Okay, okay. So if we go action underscore move, yeah. Okay, when we move that in there, what we do is move dot w uh, twenty four into player underscore action count player underscore action count cover a five. Okay, yep, action count. 
right? And then on action move, isn't it? Yep. We're gonna do that. We're gonna sub Q dot W one from uh, player underscore action count. And then uh, B, B and E, so we're still counting, uh, exit. Okay, dot exit, uh, clear dot W, action status. Or should we, oh, sorry, that'll be fine. We know that's action status, A5, right. <laughs> that did not work, did it? Okay. Oh, you're probably right, actually. Yeah. A4, because it was next to an A5, that's why. So it would have stopped eventually, I think. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we can move, but we can't move. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, this is a... Uh... Okay, so... Uh, add... Um... Uh, move top W, D0 to... Uh, let's just do it again. Okay, uh, move that to there. Add dot W, uh, D0 to player X. I'm just called X. A4. That's allowed, isn't it? Yeah. As long as the data register involved, it doesn't mind, does it? Right. It looks like crap, but it might actually work. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's why. Player, uh, player direction X. That's what we want. <coughs> we don't want that. Okay, this is this would be much better. Oh, you son of a Now we're moving twice. Oh, I know why. What we need to do is we've got to play a next deck, haven't we? No. Uh, okay, why don't we just try and uh, call that from there? Where was it? Here we go. BSR that. Okay. Okay. And that does all the shit. Okay, that might work. <laughs> oh, this is a mess. <clears throat> now I see clearly. Okay, let's just let's monitor that and see what that's actually doing. Because I bet we end up moving, we end up executing that twice. Okay, that's good. Uh, move player logic, yeah. Okay, game map. Next block. Okay, that deals with the ladder shit. Move player next X into... Okay, A6, okay. Okay, does it run it again? It doesn't run it again. <clears throat> okay. 
Oh, I know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, no, I'm being an idiot. <coughs> Clear dot W player underscore X deck A4, and then uh, we'll just do that for now. It's got nothing to do with that at all, has it? <coughs> right, take that breakpoint out. This is going to work beautifully now. You'll see. <laughs> okay. Let's still, let's still leave that player move logic in there. Almost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, look at all this. I knew this was going to be tricky. It does kind of move. It still goes up the ladders, though. But yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. God, it makes it look like it's got a terrible frame rate here, but like it's just because of the the speed with which we're cycling through the anim. So we will f sort this out. So mm. okay. Mm. Yeah, never soft. I think gravity is overrated a little bit. Okay, I think this action uh, status is going to be what helps us move this forward in terms of the logic anyway. Um, the main issue being that I've just um, just hacking it together a bit. And also, all the other logic basically just runs in the frame and someone drops. So there's the problem is, is that um, that whole section of code, uh, where is it? Um... Here, actor, save, pause, player switch. Uh, so basically from here, check controls, player move logic, player full logic, actor full, actor. So there's another bunch of logic that happens in there, which it's not doing. So theoretically speaking, Oh no, because that's going to skip that. Okay, now I get it. Yeah, yeah. I know why it's not working. Um, right. Uh, let's get that checked in for now. It's not great. I know. We could just like do a quick hack, right, just to prove the point. Uh, we could just do this, right, and play a full logic. <clears throat> and then that will probably fix it. But I need to probably consider how this is structured a bit better. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah. <clears throat> Depends on how much molly you've had. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's just try something here because I want to check that this is not going to allow it to break. So, two, two players. Yeah, they're still there. And you can't switch. Okay, that's good. You can't switch whilst they're moving because that will make it a complete mess. Um, right. Uh, well, we got. Yeah, we'll, we're going to check that code in actually for now. Uh, Millie Molly. Um, uh, uh, so what did we did? Uh, sprite directions, etc. Um, sprite directions, etc. Yeah. Push. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Brilliant. We like that. Right. Let's get. Uh, let's get. Let's get a few more demos on that. Okay. Um, hmm. So where are they? We're gonna do my favourite ever ZX Spectrum demo now, because not that one, obviously. Oh, that was really good though. Um, we're gonna do in the future, and it will make you happy. Because that's what this demo does. Now. <laughs> oh.
Okay. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, it doesn't make my spectrum happy, obviously. So, okay. Let's give that another try, shall we? It's still alive. This is good. Uh, Deb two, yes. Uh, in the in the. Oh, there we go. And it oh, flip an egg. This is not working too well, is it? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to run. But the uh, the keyboard. Uh, seems to be locking on me pressing a button uh, in the future. Oh. Go. And then we got no sound. Why have we got no sound? Oh, for goodness sake. Ah, right. Uh, slightly shagged, yeah. Let's just run something else quick. Um, uh, there we go. Have we got noise? Yeah, cool. Okay. We've got noise coming out of the spectrum. Do we have a Y noise though? Let's just try something else quick. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, okay, come on. Hey, okay. Oh, <laughs> mate, what is wrong with my specky today? This is highly, highly frustrating. Right, don't be a knob this time.
There we go. It'll be, it's worth it every time, right? You have to do it. Like, it's so good. Uh, Kickstart, uh, Sundown 2016. Jesus, really? Oh, blimey. Anyway, uh, Huey Program, aka Gasman, uh, doing a fantastic demo that makes you feel happy. So, um, yeah, let me just um, put some background on because I need to unplug that and then hopefully nothing will go wrong from this point, right? It'll be absolutely plain sailing with all these other demos that I've just downloaded. So. Is it right? Yeah, that's right. There we go. Any demo makes me happy. I mean, there's some that don't make me, they make me question my life choices, but, uh, um, yeah. Okay, well, we've seen one of those. I think yeah so so I know you can't see there's no need to do it I just copy and files it's incredibly boring uh, especially because I don't know where they keep downloading to there we go okay we'll have uh, plus two AD okay we'll have that Uh, recycler, TRD, I'll have that, and I'll have mescaline, so it's one to it, plus two, oh, plus two A, okay, let's see if that works, right, <clears throat> come on you little monkey, there we go, now, I hate demos that make you question your choices. Oh man, every there's something really wrong with this tonight, isn't there? Okay, fine again. It's really not happy today, is it? Uh, them two. Okay.
there we go. Uh, D Mark uh, Tiratok. What a banger of a demo. We'll give that some uh, uh, some love. That's very good. Very good. Uh, Bob Fosslington. Um, saw your name on the internet today. I was trying to get the uh, uh, the um, uh, long file name version of your browser working on my. Um, uh, I'll just show you quickly, actually, um, if you're still there. Uh, so this is what I've got in my spectrum, and it's not great. It's uh, let me just do this. Uh, yep. And then uh, show me the retro. Just me. There we go. So it's that. Oh god, you can't see it for, for toffee, can you? Uh, does it say it on the back? You can't read it in there actually. It's a Pico Div SD from Zaxxon Specy.pl. Um, so yeah, I did, maybe it's our edge connector. Maybe there's something else going on. Maybe I just need to get myself a nice new device. I don't know. Because, yeah, it does seem to be a bit weird. But, yeah, uh, Bobber, I, I couldn't get it working, which is, uh, um, yeah. Does it have the MMC128 extra memory? How do you tell that? I imagine you should tell that on the board, right? I don't know. There you go. That's not helpful at all, is it? It's weird though. If it's MMC, it should have it. But it's Div SD this, so I don't know. And that's it on the back. I don't know. I literally have no idea. So yeah, it's one of those. It was like I got it ages ago. Div ID doesn't have the uh, extra memory. Okay, well that should be fine. The thing is, it was working before, but I tried to install version one and it just it just died. So I don't know. Maybe my spectrum's dying. Oh god, not again. Uh, okay, right. Let's see. But yeah, great work on that. I installed it previously. It's really good. Uh, little browser. It's very nice. But um, yeah, I don't know why it's um. Yeah, that audio click. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go with Recycler then now, shall we? Oh, this looks like another disk file, so... If only you had been uh, to a hardware meetup recently. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I, I went to a hardware meetup, uh, Terrible Five, with um, uh, the other baggage where they don't... where your bag has to be small and fit under the seat, which is weird, so yeah. Uh, right, let's try this. Pause, run. It's going to be great. Oh mate, this is all as bad as running OCS demos on a a, a, a bloody um. Uh, this is worse than trying to run. Recycle it. Oh, that should be it then, shouldn't it? No. Terrible fire. Oh, there we go.
Now, is that the end? I think it is. But yeah, there we go. Recycler by um, uh, someone. I can't remember who it was by now. <laughs> really good demo, though. Like that. Uh, let's try uh, Aeon now, which is a tap file. So this will work fine, right? First time. No bother. go oh ho, 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 ho. that was a bit of a belter wasn't it there you go eon oh no 
<laughs> you fucker. Budget credits. We're in. Uh, yeah, that was in sync with the music. Um, yeah, pretty good. That was really good, that. Aeon. Uh, uh, bam, bam, bam. That was dope. Awesome. Claps. Yes. Really good. Uh, now, this one's like a, 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 a classic. Um, it's called Mescaline, and it's by... Um, who's it by? I saw it here a second ago. Um, D-Mark. Or d I don't know how you pronounce it. But um, this is a, a, a bit of a banger as well, so let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is it going to get me again, this one? Wait a minute. I think that's it. We're going we're gonna to clap anyway. <laughs> there we go. Um, mental. Not the nicest thing to watch on a stream because obviously the uh, the effects and everything use interlace and all the rest of it. So um, would obviously look amazing on a um, on a uh, CRT. Like the proper way you're supposed to watch it. But, you know, here we are. Uh, right, I did grab another one. Uh, there was something else I was going to just quickly show you as well, but let's just get this one here. Where is it? Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. The outer loop. There we go. Let's just grab that. Chuck that straight into there. There we go. This one looks quite cool. Uh, and then what we might do is just drop into a tracker quickly and just check something out. And then we'll call it a night. But yeah, here we go. Ooh. Jesus Christ, it's so impossible to plug in. Right. Four TTD, yeah, sorry, but you know, keep doing this uh, stuff on other platforms and we've got no floppy disks, have we? So, you know, um, I suppose what you could do is uh, call out the number of times it might take me to start a demo. So, okay, let's go for this. I reckon this is going to be, I reckon this is going to be good. Go. Yeah, it's going to run. Time for a recap on the uh, ZX Spectrum. I mean, you know, it's all, or just maybe get a better flash cart or, you know, no AR to debug it. That's absolutely right, uh, Bitwise, which is a bit of a shame because um, we have uh, freed demos before. So, um, 
Uh, it was before then, so um, yeah, I don't think it's. Um, uh, oh, hang on. Uh, how do we do this though? Uh, break. Uh, no. Uh, send it to Chucky. You'll see what the fuck is this. <laughs> Uh, how do we... Hang on, let's just see if we can... Okay. Uh... <laughs> let's give this another go. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, little Specky. Uh, okay, so there's got to be like... Ah, here we go. No. That moved up. Mate, there is something really wrong with that, isn't there? God damn it. So, I wasn't going to create one. I just wanted to play one in the actual tracker. But um, my, I wonder if there's something getting hot in there, actually. Uh, let's have a little try again. Come on. Uh, Hoff, I guess uh, without being connected to the world... You would only know about the platform uh, you were currently on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, after I got an Amiga, I had no idea what happened on the other platforms. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's left, right, up. What's down? What the hell? What is a down key? That's up. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What key's down? Just stupid thing. It's working with the other thing, though. Uh, uh, come on. Oh, no. Well, that did nothing. And now the mouse point has disappeared. Oh, there it is. It's shift. Why is it shift? That's so bizarre. Okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. No, that is it. It is out. No, we're giving it a rest now. That is uh, oh, that is not well, is it? That is pretty poorly. Um, I think it's probably that. So, yeah, never mind. Um, so, yeah. Oh, that's, why is that not working? You scumbag. Where are you? Over. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, right. Well, that um, Amstrad crap. Yeah, I mean, if I had a toast rack, it'd probably be much better. But, you know. I'm not spending that much on a Spectrum when I've already got one, so. Um, <laughs> and also, don't upset Nivrig, so. Um, right, we are going to go somewhere completely different today. Um, uh, because we've been mucking about with the Spectrum, so. Uh, solder stream, no way, mate. Not doing that. I hate soldering. Um, so, actually, can, where can I do this? Twitch. Um... Uh, we need to go here, press this button, uh, create a dashboard, there we go, and then stream manager, and I can press this magic button here, so. Uh, you're off zero, no worries, mate. Oh, let me just do that, there we go. Ladies, mate, all right, we are going to raid uh, Loom Kitty, because they are opening up their ZX Spectrum Plus 3 today, um, and playing demos in the corner, so, uh, and they do retro, so, uh, the Doc's a great stream as always. I thought I was a bit rubbish today, but you know, it's fun all the same anyway. So, uh, Commander Keen, thanks, mate. Hop as well. Um, TTD, Nivrig, uh, Terrible Fire, uh, Booney, Dark Star. Lovely to see you all there. Bam, 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 bam. Um, we, we did beat Gravity. That was pretty good. Uh, Tip Chip, I didn't see you there earlier. Al Kamen, never rubbish, mate. Zender. Uh, the bits I saw were great. Yeah. All right. Good night, mate. Right, uh, we're going to raid Loom Kitty. Uh, there's no raid message. Just say hi and be respectful. That's that's all we're doing today. So, um, yeah. Uh, I've pressed the button. Right, we're going to go. Um, say hi. 
and uh, let's do this. Let's be cool. Right, Giku, it's latest, mate. Right, let's do it. Hang on, how do I press this button? 